What's up guys? So today we're going to be looking at my absolute favorite light for on location lighting as well as use in the studio, the Bolton 55 watt daylight focusable Fresnel light from Kane TV. So the biggest problem with LED lighting is the power output. LEDs have become cheaper, more versatile, battery operated, and you know they can be used in a wide range of applications, but they always struggle with the power output when compared to flash. As a hybrid shooter, as well as a mirrorless shooter, I was always fascinated with the idea of using the exposure preview to eliminate all of the guesswork when lighting a subject, something that you really can't do when using flashes. And of course, the ability to light for video is also really important to me as well. So to illustrate that point, uh, here we have a comparison between the Godox TT350, a really small flash that takes two double A's and is basically the most basic flash that you can buy. Um, we here we have it side by side with the Kame DV, both in its flood mode and spot mode. And as you can see, the TT350 easily overpowers the Kame TV Boltson, giving you a lot more flexibility if you want to you know, kill the ambient light if you want to bounce the flash, if you want to put it in a soft box and diffuse it, um, you really just have a lot more versatility for how you want to use that light from the flash. However, with a flash, you can't preview the exposure, you can't share it among multiple shooters, you can't use it for video. And there's a lot of reasons why LED lighting is more practical and versatile for photography and video. And especially as a hybrid shooter, you know, those things are pretty important to me. And the biggest reason why I went with these lights instead of getting a lot of LED panels is really because the working distance for LED panels is quite short. The light falls off really quickly and it gets dark really quickly. And when you're doing on location lighting, you know, there's a lot of times when you want to spotlight something that's further in the distance or just light subjects that are a little bit further away from the light source. And you know, there's just a lot more versatility with having a light that can light things further away. Um, of course, you can still throw in a softbox and soften up that light, but um, yeah, as I'll get to later, a lot of accessories, a lot of modifiers that you can put on this light, and you can kind of change it for different scenarios. So the secret to this light's ability to work at uh, further distances is this thing. It's a Fresnel that basically concentrates and focuses the light, so that's able to kind of throw it further and um, have a little bit more directionality to it. It also helps to diminish the spread of the light so you can really focus it in on what you want to shoot. So in its normal position right in front of the LED right here, um, it does focus the light quite a bit. However, it's a bit of a wide beam. And if we focus it in, you just pull it a little bit further away from the light source and it focuses it even more, um, creates more of a spotlight effect and yeah, just creates a lot more of a concentrated beam of light. But of course, these lights would be pretty useless as location lighting if you weren't able to operate them with batteries. And luckily, this light can be powered by a single Sony NPF970 battery. These things are pretty cheap if you buy them from third-party manufacturers, and I'll definitely have those links down below. Um, but yeah, you can power these lights for about an hour-ish on 100%, and um, you know they're just really cheap. You can grab a ton of them, put them in your bag, and go out and shoot in location and not really have to worry about finding a plug or bringing a generator or doing any, any of that other crazy stuff that limits the usability of LED lights. So definitely appreciate that you can use batteries. However, the downside is, again, that it only powers it for about an hour, so you're going to have to stock up. And I've actually found that when the power gets low enough, um, the lights start to flicker a lot and they dim to you know a fraction of their maximum output which isn't the best so you kind of have to be on the watch for that you have to replace the batteries before it actually gets to zero and it's just something you have to be aware of 
But if you want a more stable battery solution, there is definitely uh, V-mount options. So they include a V-mount adapter that you can plug into the light and power it for a lot longer you know, stints of time. And of course, there's also an AC adapter as well for in-studio use when you want to just plug it in and have it run all day. But this brings me to the best thing about these lights is that the Came TV Boltzen 55 watt daylight focusable LED light only costs $300 USD from their website at KameTV.com. And that is crazy affordable. Um, you know, when I was looking for one LED to kind of start out with, just the, the price tag of this light was so attractive. I mean, having $300 light that can really do everything. It can do spotlighting. Um, you can throw it into soft boxes and get soft lighting. You can modify it. You can put gels on it. You can get colored lighting, dramatic lighting. You know, it can do everything. So $300, it's a great light to start out with. And I really think that it can fit a lot of people's needs. And I think that for wedding and event shooters, these lights are amazing. Cause you know, for receptions, you just want to light up the head table and these lights are perfect for that. You can put them all the way across the room, just spot that light straight in. And of course for, you know, podiums and speaker events, then this light, you know, it kind of speaks for itself. So if you're wondering why my light doesn't have the barn doors, which you may have seen in the photos for this light, um, it's because I actually took them off and I use this accessory. So KMTV sells an optional magnetic snap kit filter accessory pack and it basically comes with this which you put on the light like so. So it just goes around the front of the light and there's two magnets here. You know it might remind you of another magnetic accessory pack that I also own but um, yep the snap kit comes with these. I do not use any of the other accessories. Um, I've used the gels a couple times. They fade really fast. They're not the best quality at all. But the reason why I purchased these is because I was interested in this adapter alone because I had a hunch that it would be usable with these things, MagMod accessories. So the magnets actually do line up and you don't actually get any spill out the sides because the magmod accessories are wide enough. And you know, you can stack gels, you can stack grids and diffusers and everything else that you can normally put on a flash. And just having this be able to light subjects on location, you can use these modifiers to shape the light however you want, super powerful. And you know, just me and Lex on location at nighttime, she's just holding this up for me. It's just so portable, it's so usable, and it's so versatile. So it's really, really cool that this is an option. And now let's run into some examples. So as you can see, this light can be used for a very wide range of applications. And for me, when I was choosing, you know, one kind of LED to purchase, this light was definitely on the top of my list because I knew that I could shape the light, I could modify it, I can really make the light do a wide range of things, which, you know, you kind of need it to do when you're a photographer and videographer and doing YouTube as well as location lighting and you know, everything that we do here at Lex and Josh. And of course, the fact that this light is really affordable, you can throw batteries on it and power it on location. And even the size and weight of this thing, I can easily just throw this into a bag and carry it from location to location. Um, you really have a winner on your hands with this light. Um, super usable, super versatile, and I really love using it. But before you go and buy this light, you know, there are some downsides to it being priced $300 and the biggest one is the build quality. So the body of the light itself has a really nice solid feel to it. Definitely no complaints there. The dials and the screen also have a really nice feel to it. 
um, where this light kind of has some issues is with the zoom mechanism and when you pull this out it can be a little bit loose a little bit flimsy KMTV actually sells a Bowens adapter that screws onto the front of this and you know you can put your Bowens accessories softboxes and that kind of stuff however if you put heavy accessories like a softbox on the front of this it definitely starts to pull the zoom mechanism out and you can definitely see it start to bend you know the front of this light down which never really <laughs> instills confidence so I wouldn't recommend purchasing the Bones adapter unless you had some really small Bones accessories that you want to put on this. Um, yeah, I just kind of saved my money on that one. Uh, moving on to the back of this light and the yoke. The yoke itself, uh, pretty well made, solid piece of, I'm guessing, aluminum. However, the way it attaches to the light is, again, a little bit cheap. It's not the best. It basically has uh, plastic washers that attach to the side of this light they clip on to the the vent space here and yeah they're just they're plastic they're flimsy they fall off um, they're easy to lose and honestly i've already broken um one of these yoke attachments here which is not great so it's even easier to fall off the good news is you can still use the yoke on the light even if you lose or break the plastic pieces basically they're just there to kind of have that ratchet ability um, to set the light at extreme angles with modifiers in the front. So if you lose the, the plastic washers, you might just have some issues with that. But for general use, you can still use it no problem at all. And lastly, the bag that actually comes with the light is not very high quality at all. I was actually pretty disappointed. A lot of other companies that have affordable products, you know, they have a little bit nicer cases. So this one's pretty bad. And worst of all, the zipper is terrible. Um, this one actually already broke. That one does nothing and then this one on this side catches and gets stuck all the time so kind of a bummer if you buy the two or three light kits you actually get hard shell cases so definitely a lot higher quality there but if you buy the one light kit it comes with these you know they're okay they do the trick but um definitely not the best but with all that in mind you know as i've said many times throughout this review I absolutely love and adore this light um, for the price. I think it simply can't be beat and I'm extremely happy with all the results I've got using these. If you want some other options, there are some 30 watt lights. There's, you know, bicolor lights. They have even larger lights with 60 watt, 100 watt, 150 watt options. So you can definitely go onto to TV. I'll have some links down below and you can get the light that suits you the best. I believe all the lights that they have are focusable and actually all the lights have the ability to be battery operated. Um, these smaller lights, they can use the Sony NPF batteries. However, the larger lights are V-mount only, but still on location, just having the ability to use batteries is just perfect. And if you do end up picking up these lights, do yourself a favor, get the magnetic snap kit. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but the ability to add accessories onto this light and, you know, just kind of for running gun shooting, just being able to use magmod accessories, color the light, gel the light, you know, focus the light with the grid, use a diffuser if you just want like a little bit more softness to the light. The ability to do all that, um, I highly recommend getting all these accessories for this light. It's been just extremely flexible, extremely versatile for me. And yeah, again, highly recommend it. And there's also a wireless adapter that you can plug in the back. However, I haven't purchased this yet, so I can't really comment on it. However, I believe you can use your phone, you can pair it to the light and you can turn it on and off. Um, I don't know if you can dim, but anyway, it's available, it's out there, and I just haven't used it. Okay guys, that's it for me. Um, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, checking out our other gear videos, behind the scenes, vlogs, you know, all our other content on our channel. And if you are thinking of picking up this light, feel free to use the links down below. They give us a small little commission at no additional cost to you, so it really supports the channel and helps us keep doing more of these reviews. And if you want to check out any of the other gear that we have in the studio, um, I have links to those down below as well. So check those out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.